Hi guys, it's Serena from Bizarre Things and today I'm doing a collective haul video. Um, so I guess I'll get started. First of all, I have quite a few homeware pieces. Um, these actually came um, about a week and a half ago, but um, I just thought I would put them in now. And I bought some, well my mum bought these for me, some curtains for my room. Because the curtains that are in my room now have been in there for probably about... 18 to 20 years as long as I've been alive and they are really really faded and they don't go with my room so um, we got these which is exactly the same pattern as my duvet cover which looks like this and the curtains just look like this here I don't know if you can see too well um, and my room is going to be definitely over flowered. I mean, I've got flower wallpaper and a duvet and curtains that match. But I just thought, well, the curtains will be open in the daytime, so it won't be too bad. And um, this is my room and I want them. So <laughs> this is the ones that we got. And we had to buy two packs of these because um, my bedroom has a bay window. So um, we needed two packs to fill the window and we got these from um, a Chica I think and uh, we've been looking everywhere for these and they finally came up on a Chica so um, my mum bought two packs. The next homeware item is probably no surprise to you guys. I bought another um, dangling heart and it looks like this. It's just um, kind of metal heart with like embossing and a cutout in the middle and it just hangs on a white ribbon and this was a pound from the range and I really do have a problem when I go into range I can't leave without buying a heart shaped object that hangs on a ribbon um, and for a pound I thought I have to pick that up so I got that and I literally have so many of these I don't even know where I'm going to put them. Um, next, um, where should we go next? Okay so we were looking for a mirror for my bedroom for ages and I finally found one um, that was cheap and had the same kind of look and style that I wanted for my bedroom. Um, so when we finally went to buy it, the, the store in my hometown didn't have any so um, when my mum dropped me off at my dad's um, on Saturday, we went up to the branch in Rochelle, I haven't even said what store, b and um, they had two. One was broken and one was not, so we bought obviously the one that wasn't. Um, my mum brought it home with her when she came back and it unfortunately broke in the car, which is a bummer. So then me and my dad spent yesterday going to like three different B&Ms around Rochdale and Oldham and Ashton and um, we finally found one in Oldham and their store is absolutely massive and they had a lot of things that my store doesn't have so I picked up this owl I don't know if it's gonna be too bright I really really wanted the owl um, ornament from home base and it would think it was like 10.99 this was 1.99 and it's exactly the same so he's a little owl and he is made of pot and um, you can see there he was 1.99 and I'm going to put him on my bookcase and I just think he's absolutely adorable and um, I can't believe this is only $1.99 so if you want an owl definitely run out to B&M and pick one up snappish because things seem to disappear in B&M so little owl um, I will show you the mirror but I'll insert the footage now because if I carry it in here and it smashes I will cry So, another thing that I bought from b and in Rochdale is a docking system for my iPhone. Now, my iPhone is being a complete biatch at the moment, and it's deciding not to charge with any of the leads that we have in the house, and it's just being a complete asshole. So, the only way that I could charge it was to put it in my, um, in Ian's music dock here, because that charges um, the phones iPhones. So I thought I'd buy my own and I could put this in my room, listen to music on it and charge my phone at night. And it looks like this. It's the um, Logic 3 iStation Rotate portable speaker dock for the iPhone and the iPod. 
and this is actually a lot better than I expected it to be. It was retailed at about £60 and it was on it was in B&M for £24.99. Um, now the speakers are only 10 watt but they're actually pretty good um, and as you can see on there you can <laughs> rotate rotate your phone sideways so that you can carry on watching TV or movies or anything on it and it will play through the speakers. Um, it does charge incredibly fast which I am really pleased about because sometimes when you're about to run out of the house and you need to give your phone a little bit more juice I can just pop it in there. Now I did nicely wrap this back up to bring it home from my dad's. Um, it has a remote which um, I actually really wanted in a docking device because then I can put it across the room and still um, be in charge of what it's playing. And um, it came with a few accessories that I just thought were really cool. So it comes with a carry case, so um, you can take this on holiday with you because it also, it runs from the AC adapter and it also runs from four AAA batteries, so you can take it kind of mobile with you. But it came with these which really impressed me. Um, and they look like this, little clip things. And it has iPhone, iPod Classic, iPod Nano, um, iPod Classic, th uh, 80 gigabytes, iPod, blah, blah, blah. Blah. iPod Touch, iPhone 3G, the iPod Nano and the iPod Nano 5G and you slide these into the little um, like bit at the top where you put your device and it just makes it stable and it means that you can put all of these different ones in and they'll stay there which I just thought was a really good idea because um, I didn't know it was going to do that and I wasn't too sure whether my phone would kind of like sit in it properly but it just makes it fit really nicely and um, I'm really super happy that I bought this um, and I will leave a link to this below if I can find it online for you to see the spec and stuff but if you are looking for a dock I really recommend going to B&M and buying this one because it's pretty damn awesome. Next I bought two books. The first one is one that I've been looking everywhere for and um, I bought the first one not that long ago, I bought it off Amazon and I think I read it maybe in January or December, I can't remember. But um, I've been looking for the second one everywhere because I didn't want to buy it online because um, you can find it cheaper in other places. And I found it in the works and it is the second one to the trilogy which is called Fever. The first one is called Wither and the third one is called Sever and I'm now looking for Sever but this is a really good um, story. Um, it's about, um, if I can remember rightly from the first book, when girls reach 24 and boys reach 25 ages, I can't really remember, they die and um, it's kind of about these women who get like kidnapped and married off to um, these guys and she escapes. It's a really interesting story and I'm making it sound really weird but this is the second one and um, yes. If you're following me on Instagram you will have already seen this but I bought the creative colouring book for grown ups and this was down from £9.99 to £3.99 and it just looks like this, it's just a bog standard kind of like, well, colouring book for adults and on the back it says a beautiful book that can only become more beautiful as you fill it with colour, hundreds of glorious intricately designed patterns that will provide hours of amusement from flowers and leaves to abstract patterns and graphic designs, something for everyone to colour and enjoy. Relaxing, energising and inspirational, release your inner creative self to make some amazing art of your own. And I really like that. Is that a spider? No, it's a piece of fluff. Okay. Um, I really like the designs in here. I'll try and do kind of like flick through of them. But they're really, really pretty. And um, I don't know if you know, but I do um, kind of like, I'm going to call it digital art. Um, and I just thought these would be really good for me to do blogs like designs and headers and I can scan them in and change them up and just it would it was a really good book. I absolutely love this pattern. This paisley print. It's really cute. So if you are arty or just want a colouring book for adults then the works. Now this is another thing that I've been looking everywhere for. Um, Wilco's um, sells this new range called Wild and it is so me. It's black and teal, like the colour range, which are two of my favourite colours. Um, and I my voice is cracking today. 
and I've looking for these magnets everywhere because I have a, ma a scalloped magnet board that I'm going to put up in my room and um, it needed a few more magnets so I picked these up there's a skull, a telephone, a moustache, a clock uh, what's that? a crow and a bee so these were 150 just really just threw it on the floor that's fine we can do with that Next are a couple of things that got sent to me. So these are from a crystal jewellery company. Uh, well, not crystal jewellery, but they put like Swarovski, I can't say it properly, crystals on um, like glass nail files and they sell jewellery. And they sent me a few things. And the first ones are these um, crystal jewellery produced by Mont Blanc. That's Mont Blanc. Um, made in the Czech Republic and they're decorated with a scrub. <laughs> Swarovski, I still can't say it, elements, and these earrings are so pretty, I don't know if they're going to show up, but they just have every colour under the sun, and um, they're so pretty, I'm going to leave a link to the shop below, so you can check it out. Next I got two nail files, the first one is this just beautiful one, they're glass, and it's kind of like green faded into white, and it has these little elements on it, they're very pretty and um, I actually haven't had a glass nail file before but I've heard that they are the best ones because they never die which is a good thing and then the next one this is super pretty too it's um, again it fades into the glass but it's blue into purple into pink and very cute so link to that one below as well and then finally they sent me this pair of tweezers which is one of my favourite colours um, which is this lime green colour and it has um, little diamantes on the top and um, weirdly when these came I actually kind of like took them off and like plucked to see how strong they were and they're really strong ones I know some can be really weak and just don't pluck very well these are good so the final thing is two pairs of shoes, or the final two things, um, and these were sent to me by um, 360 Kicks, and I'll leave a link to that shop below. Now these, again, are fake shoes, and this is kind of funny because they say that they're Christy, I can't say it, Christy Louboutins, and they are quite clearly not, as I will show you in a minute. So the first pair of these, which are tartan and spiky all over, and I have wanted spiky all over shoes for a long time. As soon, like the first time I ever saw Bunny in those Unif Hellraisers, I wanted those on my feet, but they are expensive. And these are <laughs> um, not the, the most well-made shoe in the world. The sole is actually really nice and sturdy, but um, I mean, as you can see in there, it says that it's Christy Louboutin and it's got the red sole. But if I just kind of pick up the, I mean, this comes out really easily. But as you can see, it's, you know, it's not um, the most well-made shoe. But I am not too fussy about that because I go through shoes like nobody's business. So... Um, they are a little bit too big for me, but other than that, I think they're freaking awesome. And, um, I mean, they are spiked, so I'm going to love them eternally anyway. So, I've got those, I'll leave a link to those below. The second pair are also fake Christian Louboutins, and these are... How do I describe them? They're kind of like a sneaker shoe, or like a... I don't know. They look a little bit too big for me, and they are like a smidge too big. But um, I can work with that because they are lace up so they, I can tighten it around the top. And these are black suede, fake suede material and then they also have black studs all over them. And um, it also has this kind of little circle here that says um, Louboutin, which I don't really like but it's on the inside so not too bothersome. And again the inside is the same with the kind of like lift out um, tongue and everything. So, um, yeah, I just think these are really cool, and you'll probably see me wearing these in a few outfit posts coming up soon. Um, so, I've got those. So, that has been my little hauly haul for today. Um, if you have any video requests, please comment below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.